they're literally showing you what you need to do because they're trying to do it. But when you do it for yourself and you do it with the things that actually benefit you, then you literally remove their power and embody your own. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Anna. So, how to reprogram your subconscious mind? I'm sure you are very aware of the complete programming and bullshit that goes on in the world. And in a lot of my videos, I talk about the types of things that they do and like why they do it. So, for this video, I want to go into how we can actually reprogram it, how we change it, how we get rid of it, because it is deeply embedded into our minds and of course I also mentioned in a previous video I think it was the last one that I did um, a mind clear video talking about how they have to literally like they don't just put one film in front of your face they continuously do it so to program somebody it's about repetition it's about symbols because they penetrate through to your subconscious um, the symbols are how they get past your ego mind you know like your human mind that's always trying to survive um, symbols can get past that you know, they can get past the fear and past the, like, the words that it would say and straight to your subconscious where you're not even aware that you've, like, taken on this new belief system. Like, you might not even notice that it's actually penetrated that far because it reaches your subconscious. And if you're not very aware, if you're not tapping into your intuitions and things, then you're not going to be able to even hear your or access your subconscious mind. So they use repetition of symbols and words and like films and videos which are basically symbols you know visual images basically are what symbols are they use these visual images to program you to take on certain belief systems and certain fears and things like that for their agenda and whatever the hell they're trying to achieve which as we know is just money and power pretty much like they don't give a fuck about anything else except their own power and money so how to reprogram that is to actually remove those symbols and obviously that's difficult to do like in a world where we're literally surrounded by them you know like everywhere you turn there's something on the news or something going on and you can see it especially with social media like we have access to all of this stuff where they can feed you with it you know but at the same time we also have access to the right things we have access to the thing to like the truth basically like just watching this video you know years ago even 20 years ago you couldn't watch videos like this that were actually giving you the real information you couldn't watch videos on gnosticism and like um occult science like it just wasn't there it wasn't available you'd have to go and find the books and you'd actually have to know about the books to be able to choose them you know like you'd actually have to know about this thing this knowledge and a lot of us didn't, you know, like a lot of our parents and grandparents and things like that didn't have this information. They didn't know about it. They didn't, maybe didn't know it existed. So the only way to reprogram is to get this knowledge. And now we live in a time where like you literally have instant access to everything that you need to know. And of course you have access to false information, but because there's so much information, we now are able to like tap into our intuition and tap into our hearts and into our purpose and like through meditation and things create that connection with ourselves through like create the connection with God which literally is yourself um so like because we can do that and then we have this information in this physical realm that we can now reach as well it means that we can easily start to reprogram our minds compared to 10, 20, 30 years ago, hundreds of years ago, when you didn't have access to this information, you know? So now that we actually have the information, now that we have access to it, we can then also use that ability and use that blessing even to be able to reprogram our minds and like remove the shit that they have put there and put in things that we do want. And the way to do this is exactly the way that they've done it but you're just doing it with the information that you do want instead of the shit that you don't so it's literally consuming all of the videos all of the right information it's putting all of the symbols in your face so like having pictures i've created an altar with pictures of um like the chakras and the tree of life and all these kind of things and even like mother nature so i've got like 
um, a beach and things like that, you know, and like sunsets, just things that remind you of your power, things that remind you of how infinite you are and how like huge this world is and like the four elements you know fire water earth and air like it reminds you of what creates the universe what makes up this world and also what makes up you because as above so below like it makes up the universe but it also makes up you because you're a fractal of the universe like you literally are of it so the way to reprogram is literally to put all of the symbols and all of the images and all of the information in front of your face on a daily basis is repetition continuously having it there in front of you so that you can reprogram your mind so that you remember on a daily basis of who you are of why you came here of what your power is it's exactly like putting your goals and a vision board in front of yourself you know like when you're striving for a goal and you put it in front of you to constantly remind yourself of what your goal is so that you don't lose sight of it you don't lose focus of it it's exactly the same thing like you're literally reprogramming your mind to believe in your goal and it's exactly the same thing with spiritual teachings and with like tapping into your intuition and hearing your heart it's about repetition it's about having those things in front of you to constantly remind yourself and then removing the other things that you don't want and once you've kind of like um programmed yourself to believe in the new thing then when you do see something that's an old thing you'll instantly know that it's not real or that it's not true and like its power that it used to have over you won't be so strong because you have the awareness of what is real and what is true if that makes sense so it literally is like you're doing exactly what they've done to you but you're just doing it with the things that actually matter the things that are actually real and getting rid of the bullshit that's a complete and utter lie <laughs> because things only exist based upon our belief in them you know like they only have power based on our belief in them so when you're reprogramming you're literally changing your belief system you're removing the old beliefs and then instilling the new and that requires consistent effort consistent like viewing it looking at it affirming it speaking it you know believing in it even meditating on it and like putting yourself in the emotion of feeling that thing being real and seeing that thing being real because it literally like it makes it real because your mind can make it real you know your imagination is powerful so putting yourself there really like brings about the emotions as if it's actually happening in real time as if it's actually existing right now and then those emotions are what then create your reality because it's vibration your emotions are your frequency you know so once you then get into that state it then allows things to move for you into exactly what you just envisioned it brings them into that physical reality you know so it really is just about repetition consistent effort and being conscious of what you allow in your space being conscious of like what's around you and who you allow to be there and why like knowing why so then you're consistent when you know why you're doing something you stick with it because you realize how important it is you know yeah i feel like this is why um it's okay to still watch tv shows and like it's okay to still do human things that aren't necessarily good but you need the awareness of like what that message is saying to you so now when i watch films i can instantly see the message that because obviously they kind of control the films so i can instantly see what it is that they're trying to instill in the person that's watching it you know like because i have the awareness of the types of messages that they're trying to portray and embed into you but before when i would watch films i would just see it as like just a film like i wouldn't see oh I wouldn't see any deeper than that you know so once you gain the awareness you realize like it's actually okay to still appease your humanity like brother panic says it's okay to still watch certain things and look at certain things but only when you're aware because you have that awareness it's not affecting you in the negative way that it used to because your mind creates everything your mind is the most powerful thing so your belief in it is what makes it real you know if you believe in that thing that they're saying if you believe in the like when they portray um women don't need no man if you believe in that thing if you believe that women don't need a man to support them they don't need that kind of connection then that makes that real for you you know so then films that reiterate that message you're going to believe in it 
because you believe in that thing. But if you don't, then when you watch a film that portrays that message, you're going to instantly see that that's the message that they're trying to portray to you. But you're not going to buy into it. You're not going to believe it because you know that that's not true. You realise that the masculine and feminine both need each other to connect together, you know, that our strengths join together. So... Yeah, it's just it's just about awareness, literally. It's just about perception and awareness and daily consistent effort of repetitious putting in front of yourself the things that you do want and reminding yourself of your power, which is why people create altars. It's why people meditate because it's allowing yourself to tap into that knowing of who you are, of like how powerful you are of what this world is of the fact that you are source the fact that you are a spirit inside of a vessel you know it's just constantly reminding yourself of that fact because they try to tell you that you're nothing and that you have no power and really you do and when you remind yourself of your power daily then their like fear mongering and their fear-based bullshit falls away you know this is why I love how Brother Panic um, said that he, when he first started this kind of journey, he used to literally, he recorded himself saying, I am God, and then he would play it to himself while he slept, because it's reprogramming your mind. Hearing that phrase, I am God, from your own voice, because it's a recording of his own voice, hearing that every night, overnight, while you sleep, like, the effect that that shit has on your mind you know, when you're being told that over and over again by yourself, by your own voice, that's powerful and that's why repetition works and that's why they have to keep repeating the same fear mongering over and over again. Because if they stopped, it wouldn't work. They would lose their power, you know. So they're literally showing you what you need to do because they're trying to do it. But when you do it for yourself and you do it with the things that actually benefit you, then you literally remove their power and embody your own, you know. So, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I may make another one to go deeper into it because, you know, I kind of forget what I've said. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to chat to me more, definitely leave a comment. And also you can DM me on Instagram as well. All my links to social media and music and everything like that will be in the description box below. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a 